Well, hello. Welcome to the Christian Leaders News. My name is Abby Dominiak. First, I am excited to welcome us into November, a new month, which means we have a new theme and some new theme verses. So I'm going to share with you, actually, we have two theme verses for the month. And this month, we're going to be focusing on for giving. So this month is the month of Thanksgiving in the U.S. and so um, the idea of giving is on our mind a lot and one of the greatest things we can do and one of the ways that we can give, be compassionate and kind to others is to give forgiveness. So our two features verse is, is Ephesians 4 32, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. Also Psalm 86, 5, you Lord are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call to you. So um, a dual focus on forgiveness, both that Jesus is a loving, forgiving, um, amazing God who has righted our wrong and has given us so much. And so in, in this season of Thanksgiving and thinking about forgiveness, particularly, we think about what Jesus Christ did on the cross. Also, when we think about forgiveness, um, as I had just said, it's one of the greatest things you could give to someone else and even give to yourself because it sets you free as a Christian leader. So um, I also do want to recommend here, we just released last month a forgiveness mini course by Pastor Brian DeCook, who is um, on our board and does a lot with our alliance and volunteers and all that. So highly recommend this course. Um, Brian uh, has a ministry called uh, Peace Fire, which is all about being, bringing peace and conflict and forgiveness is a huge piece of that. And so already have heard from many students how great that forgiveness mini course is. So I highly encourage you to check that out, especially as we dive into forgiveness for this month. Next, I want to talk about our planner. So some students, you've already reached out to us about the planner um, and will we have a 2020 planner? Will that be available? And yes, we have a planner that is going to be released this month and it is our ministry tools edition. And we'll talk more about that when it's available to purchase, but I did want to give you all that update that the planner is coming and we are very excited to be able to release that uh, with some new updates, renditions, and the ministry tools added. Also, the Commended Minister Program. Let's talk a little bit about that. Um, we just officially, officially launched that for enrolling last week, and already I just want to read one feedback that I saw today from a student. Um, what do you specifically like about the Commended Minister Program class? What I specifically like about the Commended Minister Program class is that the tendons of the programs and the requirements caused me to give deep thought into why I chose this particular path for my Christian journey. The questions at the end of each section caused me to give deep thought into answering the questions more thoroughly. Not only were the topics covered thoroughly, but so were the specific mini courses required to earn the Commended Minister credential. Taking this course allowed me to explore which minister roles I may best be suited for and what steps I should be taking next to meet those goals. I am very encouraged by what Henrietta wrote in this response, and many other students have echoed some similar thoughts on the Commended Minister Program. So again, I want to point out the Commended Minister Program. You can find that on your dashboard right now and in the Guidance and Credential panel, as well as the new endorsement level. Um, so I'm actually going to go over to the screen for a second just to show you again what that looks like on the guidance and credential panel because it is a bit of a change especially moving over to doing the endorsement level and all that so let's go over to my screen here um, I'm on the home page so going down to the guidance and credential panel it's under the alliance here's the commended minister here's the requirements and the endorsement class is now linked on here so if you need to receive level one endorsement and submit one recommendation or maybe you want to get two recommendations or three recommendations and um, that is all linked on um, the guidance and credential panel now as well as of course the required um, mini courses and that commended minister class itself which i was just sharing about from what henrietta said about this class so highly encourage you guys to get involved check this out and see if the commended minister role is a fit for you in your ministry calling so very glad that we could launch that 
I also wanted to mention that we have remodeled the look of our Christian Leader store. And so some of the products that you might be interested in and maybe we're looking for in the store, we hope it's more accessible and we've just done some changes that we want to encourage you to go over to our Christian Leader store, which is www.christianleaderstore.com and check out some of our new products and some of the other products that we've had available that maybe you didn't even know was available. So highly encourage you to check that out. How do rabbits travel? By hairplanes. And then lastly, I want to close today. Um, I just actually today had an interview with Julia Sellers. And just to tell you a little bit about Julia, and we had a full interview that I did with her, a 20-minute interview sharing her story. Um, but Julia has completed the bachelor with Christian Leaders College and many other courses. And uh, you'll see in the interview, Julia shares a little bit more about how God placed a calling in her life. But Julia lives in Slovakia right now. Um, and Julia grew up in there when it was a communist uh, society. And so there was a lot of um, oppression on Christianity at the time. And so it's, it's just very inspiring to hear how God has worked in Julia's life and how Christian Leaders Institute and College has come alongside Julia in her calling. And some of the courses particularly have touched her life, like our Disability Smart course. So I highly encourage you now, as we close out this news, to go over to the full interview about it and um, be encouraged by what Julia is doing to serve the Lord and um, just to hear her passion because it really blessed me today. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to the month of November.